everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about pyrite chemistry, uh, a potential new tool in mineral exploration. Uh, so why do we need new methods to find ore deposits? Well, a major uh, problem that's occurring in mineral exploration for the last uh, 20 years or so, or even a little bit more, is that it's getting harder and harder to find new deposits. This chart uh, near the bottom of the slide uh, it shows us that in the past we used to be able to increase exploration dollars and we'd find more deposits. Um, but unfortunately that hasn't happened since the 80s. Um, and this is largely because a lot of the easiest to find deposits uh, near surface have been found and exploited and the new deposits are either going to be found at greater depth or uh, undercover. Uh, and this means increased drilling costs uh, and that we must get as much information out of, uh, out of each drill hole as possible. So why use pyrite trace solving chemistry? Well, pyrite is common in many different types of deposits. Uh, its trace element content reflects the trace element content of the fluids from which it formed and precipitated, as well as the depositional me uh, mechanisms uh, and the co-occurrence of other minerals. Um, and because each deposit will have variations of all these factors, um, therefore it should, they should also have uh, variations in pyrite trace solvent chemistry. And if that is the case, we should be able to work backwards with our pyrite trace solvent chemistry uh, to find uh, which deposit a given pyrite came from. Uh, so we selected samples from 71 different ore deposits and sedimentary formations. Uh, sedimentary formations were taken uh, so we would have a non-mineralized kind of pseudo background uh, pyrite to compare against. Um, and this was both from new data and literature sources. Um, and we used these to statistically define the trace element signatures from the different ore deposits. Um, pyrite trace element chemistry is pretty complicated, so we decided to employ machine learning. Uh, and the, the type of machine learning we, we chose was random forest, which uses an ensemble of decision trees uh, and a training data set uh, to predict uh, what deposit a given unknown pyrite is from. Um, so very briefly, if we look at thallium as an example, uh, our random forest can use um, thallium to split the data set into mostly SEDEX, VMS, and sedimentary pyrite, uh, and then our higher temperature hydrothermal deposits. And then it, it, the given tree would go through a series of different uh, other trace elements and bin the data appropriately and use the training set to identify the specific deposit type. And we do this 500 other times with different permutations of trace element data um, to select the uh, correct ore deposit type. Uh, so how well did it, uh, uh, how well could it uh, identify each deposit type? Um, pretty well in the end. Our favorite classifier had uh, orogenic gold being correctly identified uh, the, the worst one was orogenic gold, which was correctly identified almost 86% of the time. And then the best that identified was the sedimentary pyrite, which was correctly identified 99% of the time. And this is important because that was our standard for unmineralized pyrite. So the classifier is doing really well at uh, selecting the unmineralized pyrite. Um, and because we had an uneven amount of data, we also uh, check to see how well it could classify individual deposits. Um, and it was a correct identification if it was uh, greater than 65% of the time. And uh, every one of our deposits was correctly identified except for one of the orogenic gold deposits. Um, so this has mo uh, two main applications right now. Uh, if we are undergoing a deep drilling program undercover, uh, and we get some mineralization, but it's not clear which exact uh, deposit type it's from, we'd be able to analyze the pyrite and put it through the classifier and determine what deposit type we're looking at. Uh, and that'll allow us to uh, use the appropriate geological model uh, to aid our exploration in an early phase of exploration. Alternatively, we can sample pyrites from stream or till concentrates 
Uh, and if some of that pyrite come, is identified by the classifier as coming from a specific deposit, um, we can determine whether they, there may be an ore deposit upstream or ice or up ice in a way analogous to uh, minerals for diamond exploration.